Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. Just made it here in Arlington. Uh, this is my first drop that I have. From here, I'm gonna go to Wiley, pick up another load, bring it to Lancaster, and then head to Anis, pick up a load from there, going back to Hazlitt. But man, today is Saturday. I don't know, maybe because it's Saturday, you have people that are going to weddings and people that maybe are flying out and people that are just relaxing. There are a lot of cars on the road but people are driving like crazy. Some of them are slow, some of them are fast, some of them are, I mean, it's a mess out there. And as a truck driver, uh, you just have to learn to be patient, to hold your cool, just fall back, give yourself some space, because some of these guys, they drive crazy, man. You guys see all these small trucks? This customer here, I believe they have like a program where they hire uh, these guys. Look, listen to JB Hunt Transport. So look at that. Did you see that? So like if you have like uh, one of these small trucks, I guess you can hire on with these guys here. Most of these guys here are own operators but some of them have like a fleet maybe like three four trucks and they just make i think they make like home deliveries for this customer so some of you guys were interested in like starting your own businesses in um, driving the small trucks the straight trucks you can look for such customers that can give you business I don't know much about it, but I know of a friend that does this. The only difference is that with him, he goes over the road. But then these guys are just local drivers. So it's something to look into for those of you who want to have your own small delivery business. I'm guessing there's money, money to be made. All this stuff we try, it just depends where your heart is. You try it out look for information and you see what's out there I'm supposed to be parking in 356 I hope looks like 356 is it gonna be empty yeah 356 is taken Now I have to figure out where to put this thing. I was brought up to treat people with respect and one of the ways to do that is to refer to people either by calling them sir or calling them ma'am. But nowadays it's becoming really really hard because with the LGBT community sometimes I find uh, some people and I'm not sure whether to refer to them as mom or as sir. It, it becomes confusing and sometimes I get myself, I catch myself trying to figure out what should I call, is this a he or a she or? Well, Mrs. Doubtfire, he's a she, he's a she, she he's a she, she. What? Ah. Uh, uh. He's half man, half woman. What? So sometimes that's the situation I find myself in.
these guys didn't have an empty. I'm just gonna go across here and see if I can find one. Apparently they don't have any empty so I'm gonna try some place a little bit away from here. I'm done with my break. The time right now is 2020. So I'm gonna go look for my empty now. I usually have good luck getting an empty here, so let's see if I find one. Look at that! The very first container I look at is an empty. Hopefully, I see that doors are open. Woohoo! Way to go! It's too high so I have to crank it down but let's just make sure it's empty. Empty my people. So I'm gonna hook up to it and I'll get out of here. Do you guys want me to continue or are you tired? You want me to let you go? What did you say? You wanna go? Okay, see you next time. Stay blessed and stay safe. Bye bye.